rehab hospital, he was able to have um, any visitor basically over the age of 18 um, be able to come in, just had to wear masks, and um, but only two at a time in the room. So when those two left, two, two different ones could come in. That was fine. Um, so he had one week where every day, I believe it was, for five or six days, he had a, a family member that was able to go in and see him. And so he got a lot of different visitors. Um, the pastor we like to associate with, um, that pastor is my parents' church, and hopefully he can become our pastor soon. Um, he actually came down and visited him one day, um, not long after he got there. And so he was able to visit with a lot more people. He has his sister and brother-in-law came over from out of state to visit him. And so we were able to see them for dinner after their visit <laughs> for a couple hours. So I guess at this point in time, it's pretty much at you in the rehab hospital. Yeah, it seemed like an eternity. <laughs> Those two weeks were just torturous. <laughs> um, but, like Tavita was saying, it seemed like every day, well, it didn't seem like, it was every day I was able to do so much more than the day before. And I was gaining strength back just by leaps and bounds um, to the point where in two weeks I was probably um, 85 to 95 percent recovered I'm sorry 85 to 90 percent recovered back to the point of where I was before I went into the hospital. Um, I mean, I still have room for improvement to, to get all the way back there. I, um, but I remember going through um, different nurses and trying to remember names. Um, and I didn't see any of their faces. All I saw were the eyes. <laughs> Thanks to this whole COVID thing. And, um, um, I mean, I, uh, my Who's therapy. The Who was your favorite nurse there that we, was there majority of the time? What was her name? He's wearing the shirt. I don't know that I had a favorite. Mandy? Um, Maddie, and she was a... Oh, yeah, she wasn't she, on there. She was an RN. Yeah, she's on here. Okay, her name was Maddie. So, Maddie, if you happen to come across this and you see this, thank you so much for your help. You were an amazing nurse for him. And one person I remember a lot from... To P from... Mm -hmm. I keep saying Topeka. That's a absolutely not the right city that's a not city right, it's not the right state <laughs> it's not the right state it's a city we lived near uh in years past and i was stuck on that city i could i kept referring back to that so topeka is not the right place <laughs> but my favorite nurse from the first hospital i was at was went by the name kia which was unique. I didn't. That was one car name that I had never heard for someone. Um, and if if you by chance come across this or anyone that knows her, please let her know that we are very grateful for the um, bond that we created. Um, and those are just a couple of the nurses. Um, yeah. And your, My your PT. PT nurse was Marjan. Marjan, yeah. Um, so those are three names that remember, but everybody that took care of him, I would say with the exception of maybe two nurses, <laughs> um, we just loved. We, we all like connected right away. 
And there was that one nurse that ignored me and was trying to make me... She was ignoring me and being mean. Yeah, funny stories. No nurse I'm, was I'm, being mean to me. I'm, I'm lost at that one. What he's trying to get at. <laughs> you remember I was yelling at her and she kept ignoring me. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a delirium thing when he came out of the sedation. <laughs> so, yeah. There was a lot of funny stories with that. So, yeah. So, we have some nurses that we really appreciated. So, if any of you are um, come across our video, thank you so much for everything you've done know that you are greatly appreciated and um you guys are are wonderful people you have a wonderful heart and we are so thankful for you guys yeah thankful that you put up with me for that long and that's work <laughs> so yeah so then and then he was finally able to come home so after 36 days of hospitalization between the two hospitals he was finally able to come home that we were also told you know that this is going to be a very hard recovery he'd probably be in rehab for a month or two and i was just like whoa what is going on after supposedly gonna you know minimum of two weeks intubated he has beat all the odds he was one week intubated two weeks at a rehab hospital he just i mean he was out of the rehab hospital um, before they, you know, expected him to really be off the intubation, but, um, cause they expected a little bit more, but, um, they, I was told that I was the only family member or he was the only person, only patient that had a family member there every single day while he was intubated. And every time I was up there, there was no other family member for any of the other patients there. They believe that that paid a big say, part in my a big part in the recovery and um just just the encouragement just knowing that they were there even though he doesn't remember it all now um he was responding to things i said his numbers would show that he was responding and sorry if you hear the girls in the background they're kind of arguing a little bit <laughs> um but his numbers were showing that he was responding to me and we even played a little test while he was intubated the nurse and I um, I'm like I thought you said that these numbers are supposed to stay down to here and they keep jumping up to here and he's like well I didn't do much with the paralytic but that's usually what it means is that the paralytic is coming we're weaning them down but we haven't done anything to it so he asked me to be quiet for a couple you know for about five minutes and he was just talking and explaining stuff you know just to kind of calm him down get his numbers back down and then as soon as i said something to him again it jumped right back up to where it was so he was hearing me even though he doesn't remember it he was hearing me and he was responding in brain activity so um it does make a difference um this is no matter why you may be intubated it does make a difference so so it does make a difference be there for your loved ones whenever possible and if you can't have one other person because a lot of places um, you might only get two people as an option so um, sometimes only one but and it's sad if it's only one because it is hard for one person to be able to be there all the time but um, if you get two people trade off it is so worth it um, I, I had to take help in all ways. This is one area of my life I had to learn to swallow my pride and I had to ask for help. People were starting to offer for help for this, for that, and it was hard for me to accept and then it's like, well, I guess you could do this. And then it got to the point that I almost felt like I was begging for help because it was getting so hard. Um, we had financial help, we had food help, we had um, people that would even do my laundry. <laughs> Actually, that was more of a cousin, but um, she she would do our laundry while she was babysitting the girls. I mean, we had babysitters um, that I, I usually don't, I'm not one that has to count on all this uh, otherwise. So um, not that those people have never been there before, but um, even people, a church that we are not even members of, 
reached out to us. We have, I, it's been years since I've even, you know, visited a family friend that goes to church there, but um, their church reached out to us, and I would have to say, I think that church ended up, and they're still helping us um, with food and stuff. They just got some amazing people. It's a, it's a very, or it's a large church. I don't want to say a very large, but it's a large church, and they just, their outreach to um, those within the community is amazing. Um, so those of us, those of you who know where we're at, um, shout out to Georgetown Bible Church. You guys are amazing. We love you. Thank you so much for all the help. And again, um, we, we couldn't have done a lot of this so far without all your help. And I think some of you guys had to, you know, whether that church or other f family friends, um, I know there was some readjustment on schedules to be able to meet up with me to do this or that. And it's, um, Charity Baptist, thank you for the help that you guys were able to provide. That was wonderful. Um, again, a few different people besides just the church. And you guys helped in a variety of ways also. And the family who had the kids draw the little pictures for Matt, that was, that was really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was, that put a smile on his face when he came home. So, um, we just want to tell you guys all thank you. We wanted to kind of give you guys an idea. This is why I did not have time to do anything whatsoever. Then of course we get home, <laughs> we get everything settled, somewhat settled and electronic problems. So we just wanted to touch base with you guys and um, kind of let you guys know what was going on. Any last few words or anything? No. This has been a real eye opener. You guys never know how much time you have here on earth. And um, we have the blessing of having accepted Christ into our personal lives. And so that gives us hope. It gives us a promise um, that even if the Lord would have taken him at that point in time, we know we would have seen each other again. It's, you know, it's the promise and hope that we have. And I know that's how I got through it all is um, God. He used Matt for yet another miracle, and it's been hard, but, you know, we all learn through this, and if this story can help someone else out at this point in time, it was worth it. <laughs> I mean, to a point. Yeah. I mean, it, it was hard, um, but if anybody else is going through something like this, feel free to reach out to me. Um, in the description box is a link to our Facebook page, our family Facebook page for this walk, so go ahead and click on there, message me through there, and I will do what I can to help anybody else out. But um, other than that, um, I think we pretty much well covered it. And if you guys like this or you felt this video helpful, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with your friends. And we love you all, and we will see you guys all next time.